anyone who knows my videos will know that they are pretty much well some of them are filled with begging type requests that religious people will read more science if they believe that their God is the truth then they should not be afraid of the truth there are experts that look into what your God did and they're called scientists if you believe that God made the universe and I'm forever begging people to to just look at that now obviously I'm being slightly cunning in that because I think that when they read beyond the outermost skin of science that they'll find ample evidence to make whichever scripture they believe to be true to be obviously false and I think subconsciously they know that too which is why they don't read it doesn't make any sense if I believed in God and I believed that God had made the universe I would read about the Big Bang to add to the sense of awe that I feel at God's work religious people don't do that it's one of the reasons why I don't think they really believe what they say they believe so instead of asking you to read and instead of asking you to listen why not spend two hours just looking at photographs from the Hubble Space Telescope or from one of the many rapidly improving ground-based telescopes that there are in the world there's plenty out there the photographs number in the tens of thousands now and you can look at them and you can see what your God did the universe it used to be that the photographs that we had we, were just points of light on a dark background giving very little detail but you're living in an age when the standard of astronomical observation has been transformed by computers and charge coupling devices and improvements in optics and it's going to get better now just look at some of the photographs that are out there ask yourself why scripture never described such things ask yourself why your God spoke endlessly about this speck of dust that we call the earth but he never spoke in any detail about what's out there if you hold the to the belief that the earth is in some way special and privileged and that the sun is a unique star and that our solar system is unique although we can't show you other solar systems and other earths we can show you millions upon millions upon millions of stars and every star that you see on any photograph barring some extremely good high definition photographs of other galaxies almost every single time you see an individual star on a photographic plate that star is within our galaxy almost any photo you choose if you see a galaxy surrounded by stars the stars that you see are like raindrops on the window as you look out of the window they are close they are in our galaxy the numbers are beyond your comprehension the numbers are beyond my comprehension the difference between you and I is that I have tried to comprehend I've tried to visualize what a thousand is, what a million is, what a hundred million is, what a billion is. 
the numbers alone tell you that this is a nothing place I'm not saying humanity is nothing humanity could one day be one of the greatest things in the universe but right now it's just a bunch of potential and the vast majority of the potential is being diverted by religion because the vast majority of people are religious in the past it wasn't a problem if you watch the news you'll find that today it is and it's the problem side of religion we fight we don't want we don't spirit we don't want spiritual people to be without their spirituality if they need it if they need it to get through the day then that's okay but if they need it to kill other people if they need it to hold back science and distort the research that's being done then they're using a weapon of ignorance the atheist creed should begin with one sentence ignorance can never be good just to give you an idea this is the sun our sun the atoms in your body came from a, a star very similar to our sun which exploded uh, long before our solar system was formed about somewhere around 5,000 million years ago the sun itself about 90 million miles away which equates to about eight light minutes from Earth. This is a star field. Um, obviously I've not counted all the stars. If you imagine that the Sun is one of these little babies and you're God, where do you think it is? How do you think you find it? As far as the overall scale of the universe goes, what you're looking at is the equivalent of chicken feed and this is the center of our galaxy the Milky Way uh, the s behind the, the dark band of dust is the central bulge of our spiral galaxy um, approximately 25,000 light years away the actual galaxy shown here is NGC 4565 um, galaxies of the, the spiral type tend to be somewhere of the order of about a hundred thousand light years in diameter containing several hundred thousand million stars in each galaxy as an average and this is the famous Hubble deep field photograph every single dot of light you see here is a galaxy like the previous galaxy shown give or take um, the objects seen here are somewhere between nine and eleven thousand million light years away you've got to remember that what I've just shown you is one star one galaxy essentially and then a cluster of galaxies that occupies an area about that big held at arm's length in one part of the sky I haven't shown you anything if you multiply what I've shown you by millions upon millions you might be getting close to what's actually out there well no multiply it by billions thousands of millions and you're telling me that all of that was created over such a vast expanse of time and space simply so that Jesus and Muhammad can mess around in the desert 